This presentation is to accompany the book, Consumer Behavior, A Primer, by Gail Tom. In the creation of a persuasive communication, marketers must first identify the message, what they want to say. Usually, this involves research to determine consumer attitudes, product strengths, and weaknesses. Equally important is the execution of the message, how to say it. The message in this FedEx advertisement is that on-time delivery is important and that Federal Express delivers on time. The execution makes the message memorable. Tuesday, New York on Wednesday, LA on Thursday, New York on Friday, got it? Got it. Got it. So you want to work here, what really makes you think you deserve a job here? Well, sir, I think I'm like, I'm good at figures and I have a sharp mind. Excellent, can you start on Monday? Yes, sir, absolutely, without hesitation. Congratulations, welcome aboard. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And in conclusion, Jim, Bill, Bob, call Fred, Low, Dork, Ada, and Ted. Business is business, and as we all know, in order to get something done, you got to do something. In order to do something, we got to get to work, so let's get to work. Thank you for taking me. PD did a bang-up job, I'm putting you in charge of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. I know it's perfect, Peter, that's why I picked Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's perfect, Peter, may I call you Pete? Call me Pete. Pete. There's a Mr. Schnittler here to see you. Home to wait 15 seconds. Can you wait 15 seconds? I'll wait 15 seconds. Congratulations on your deal in Denver, Dave. I'm putting you down to deal with Dallas. Don, is it a deal? Do we have a deal? It's a deal. I gotta go, I got a call coming in. Hi, Doc, just dealt with Don. In this fast moving, high pressure, get it done yesterday world. Aren't you glad there's one company that can keep up with it all? You got a deal, good. I'm putting you down to deal with Dick. Dick, what's the deal with the deal? Are we dealing? We're dealing. Dave, it's a deal with Don Dork and Dick. Dork, it's a deal with Dave, Dick, and Dave. Don, it's a dork with Dick, Dave, and Dave. Gotta go, Dave. Disconnecting. Gotta go, Dick. Disconnecting. Gotta go, Dan. Disconnecting. Federal Express. When it absolutely positively has to be there overnight. Bori is a brand of helmets. The message is that it does a great job protecting the wearer's head. This is true if the wearer is a chocolate bunny or a peanut or a match or a mouse or a worm. Jeep is a vehicle that can go anywhere. A Jeep can park anywhere. Jeeps will obey traffic laws. Heinz ketchup is found in every household and is as common as eating utensils. A persuasive strategy is the use of the two-sided appeal. The communication admits to a weakness and shows how the weakness is not important and may even be a strength. Moreover, by admitting to a weakness and confessing to imperfections, the communication may be perceived as more truthful and thus may gain credibility. Avis car rental is only number two, a weakness. But this makes Avis try harder, which is a strength. To overcome this weakness, Avis has developed a manifesto to serve its customers better. Despite the fact that Avis is number two, a position they readily admit to, you should still choose them because their faults are little ones that don't matter. Smuckers is a funny name. So with a name like Smuckers, your jams have to be good. L'Oreal products are more expensive than competitive brands, a weakness. But you're worth it, that's a strength. The Peace Corps is a really hard, low paying job, a weakness. But you will love it, a strength. Listerine does not taste good, but you use it because it provides benefits. A weakness of Motel 6 is that it is not a luxury hotel, but a strength is that it's very affordable. Ugly is only skin deep. On the outside, the VW Bug is an ugly car. That's a product weakness. But on the inside, it's a dependable car. That's a product strength. After a few years, the VW starts to look beautiful. And it's a car that has a long life. The 1970 VW will stay ugly longer. During the presidential debate against opponent Walter Mondale, Ronald Reagan admitted he was very old. A weakness given the demands of the job of the President of the United States. But he turned that weakness into a strength. You already are the oldest president in history, and some of your staff say you were tired after your most recent encounter with Mr. Mr. Uh, Mondale. Um, I recall yet that President Kennedy had to go for days on end with very little sleep during the Cuba Missile Crisis. Is there any doubt in your mind that you would be able to function in such circumstances? Not at all. 
Mr. Truitt, and I, and I want you to know that also I will not make age an issue of this campaign. I am not going to exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> The rational pill uses information to persuade. In comparative advertising, alternative products are compared on selected information. This is an example of indirect comparative advertisement. Cascade is shown as superior to other brands of dishwashing detergents, but the names of specific brands are not mentioned. This is an example of a direct comparative advertisement. It communicates the superiority of Maxwell House coffee compared to Folgers coffee. Direct advertisements name the specific brand. This advertisement implies that the Nissan is the better buy. The comparison is to the Mercedes. This dictionary is described as listing 10,000 words and in perfect condition. The average bid is $24. This is another dictionary offered for sale. It is described as having 20,000 words, and as the photo shows, it has a torn cover. The average bid is $20. When both dictionaries are offered for sale, we see how the comparison of the two dictionaries affects the average bid. The dictionary that received an average bid of $24 alone now receives an average bid of $19. The dictionary that received an average bid of $20 by itself now receives an average bid of $27.